<laughs> it's funny that, you say oh, that that's... thing about a squirrel. I was so mm-hmm. bored in my house yesterday that I saw a squirrel in my backyard and I just I just like sat by the window staring at it as it walked around. It had a pecan in its hands and it was wandering around my backyard. Look, I guess it was trying to hide it somewhere. And I was playing a game where I was trying to guess where I thought the squirrel was going to hide the pecan. I probably stared at that squirrel for 15 minutes as it decided where to hide a pecan. <laughs> and uh, after it was done, I was like, what did I just do? Like, like it's come to this. I'm watching a squirrel oh. hide a pecan for winter in my backyard. And then, wow. it, and then it got to like my grass, like my dog toilet. And I was like, oh, we can't hide it there. So I had to go out into the balcony and like yell at it for it to go away. Wait, it's not allowed to hide it there? No, because it's going to dig it up and fuck up the grass. <laughs> <laughs> you've you've explained what you were doing as I was playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching that squirrel wander around my yard, trying to hide a nut. God damn, uh, you things you we've come maybe, to. You may you might you might have lost it, bud. Been, you might be it's, it's, you might be out there. It's pretty boring these days. Uh, <laughs> not, not, I can't get another haircut. I mean, gotta gotta wait a few more weeks for that. <laughs> I'm not honestly far. blown away. Even going back to the last story. How much squirrel content you're responsible for on this podcast, Gus? <laughs> it's like it's it's surprisingly high. And then and then I didn't even oh I didn't, I just made another connection right now. Oh my god! So then yesterday, in the afternoon, I had taken my dogs out into the backyard, and you know there's a fence in my backyard. How tall is it? That the fence is taller than me. That fence is probably like eight feet off the ground, maybe. And uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm standing with my back to the fence and I'm watching my dogs and I hear something behind me and I turn and I look and at the top of the fence, there's a fucking squirrel there and it's got like a peanut in its hands and it's like barking at me. And I'm just like looking up at it I'm like, what? does that squirrel want to fight me? And it's like making like a <laughs> like a barking noise at me. I was like, what do I do? Like a chicken? No, they do, do know that. What they, like do they go like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like. Is it is it trying to give me the peanut or is it trying to make sure I don't take the peanut? And like it wouldn't back down. Like it started like doing that thing where it was like coming closer at me, like it wanted to fight me. It was like this squirrel might be rabbit. So I like I just gathered my dogs up and went back inside. There is nothing funny. You ran away from the squirrel. I, I ran away. There is nothing funnier than a squirrel tormenting Gus. I just I, I can't. I don't think that I think that's peak. I think that's peak rooster teeth right there. <laughs> I don't know if I mean, anything better. I mean, do you them. guys I just like just polling the rest of the room, I guess. Do you guys have this many interactions with a squirrel? Uh, <laughs> no, a I don't even bit? think I have this many interactions with Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I feel like of the last 50 interactions I've had with a squirrel, none of them have registered. <laughs> enough to be like a story it's just like oh there's a squirrel i I wonder if it was the same squirrel that i yelled at earlier like i wonder if it was mad at me and it recognized me and it like came back do you think it's a crow like do you think it has like crow memory it's just like remembering your face now doing that has a squirrel ever done that to you have you ever yelled at a squirrel no no but i don't have like a third a a quarter a fifth of like the amount of squirrel stories you have gus so like (laughs) This is really something else, man. What are you doing to attract these squirrels? What are you feeding them? What are you putting in your garden? Tell they, us the they're secrets. always bringing peanuts around too. I don't know where the fuck they're getting peanuts from, but I would find like peanut shells in my yard. I'm like, where the fuck are squirrels finding so many peanuts? 